Salsa timing issues. There's a misconception that on two is more difficult than salsa on one. And um, that is completely false. The thing is that a person who has timing issues on two usually has timing issues on one. Why? Because the timing issues are related to physicality. It's not related to the music. In fact, if it was a musical thing, anybody will be able to dance easier on two than salsa on one because the rhythm of salsa is an upbeat swing, which means that the timing, the heavy beats of the music are two, four, six, and eight versus, let's say, a house music or jazz music or rock music, which is one, three, five, seven. What happens with us teachers when we teach you to dance salsa on one? It's actually a process of brainwashing you in order to hear the one when there is no sound on the one, at least for the majority of the song. Around about a minute into the song, when we kick into what we might know, call the C section of the song or the mambo section of the song, the heavy section of the song is when the cowbell comes in and the cowbell, la campana, will strike on one, three, five and seven. But for the majority of the song in the beginning, there is no campana, there is no cowbell. There's only conga, bass, vocals, and the horn section. And uh, so therefore, it's more in our best interest to have a good understanding of the rhythm of salsa, using the conga drum, using the timbales, using the bongo, and using the bass to find the structure of the rhythm. In the bass of the music, the bass would usually go up in the, in the first bar, Boom, boom, and the second bar, boom, boom, and it goes down. So it's one, two, three, four, boom, boom, five, six, seven, eight, boom, 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 boom. What I'm trying to get to is that the best thing that one can do is get familiar with the rhythm of the music, get used to the music. And later on, as we become more competent in understanding the music and more competent in understanding the different flavors of salsa, pachanga, cha-cha-cha, rumba, swing, all these ideas, they are much more easy to connect to because we are musically connected. We are rhythmically connected to the salsa music versus dancing on one where it's paint by numbers. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, with almost no connection to the music itself. So that's just my perspective. Take it, don't take it. I can tell you that if you had to be in any of my classes, you would see very, very quickly what I'm saying to be very, very true. The dancer is the musician of the body. The floor is our instrument. Like any musician that plays in a salsa orchestra, which is usually a 12-piece orchestra, everybody is connected to each other by very, very defined rules and principles. That's why the dancer who dances on two is connected directly to the music. We're connected to the exact same rules and principles, which is why we have a lot more fun and a lot more flavor when we're dancing. Dancing. I hope that you enjoyed this brief explanation of music. For a fuller tutorial where I will explain even more about the music, please check out my videos on YouTube. Paradiso Academy Online Dance School is the name of the channel, and you'll find two amazing tutorials on how to understand salsa music better. Enjoy.